Zygenopoulos, I work in the Hellenic Center uh, for Marine Research in Heraklion at Crete, and I am the World Package One leader that has to do with selective breeding. All that it's the fastest growing food production sector globally, and it's generally accepted that the uh, genetic improvement of production traits via well-designed and well-operated breeding programs has great potential to help meet uh, this rising seafood demand driven by human population growth. Uh, added to this, we have the continuous advances in sequencing and bioinformatics. And this also justifies why in the last 10, 15 years, genomics is increasingly being applied across uh, the broad range of aquaculture species and at all stages of the do domestication process to optimize exactly the, uh, the selective breeding. Uh, we uh, all expect, we all hope that selective breeding for genetic improvement of production uh, traits will be able to increase this efficiency and reduce also the environmental footprint of aquaculture. Uh, we have to remember that compared to livestock uh, animals in which selective breeding has started uh, a few decades back, uh, fish are considered to be in the early stages of uh, the domestication process, and therefore there is much progress to achieve from the application of modern tools and genetic improvement. Uh, last, we have examples from fish like uh, in Atlantic salmon, in which we have an average 13% growth increase uh, per generation, which is substantially higher than the growth observed in breeding programs for terrestrial livestock species. This project, we uh, uh, mainly aim to tackle relevant issues important for the industry and obviously to our knowledge and uh, information at that time, uh, not previously studied in other EU and nationally funded projects. Uh, our first objective was to apply advanced genetic approaches in an industrial context, and we delivered collaborating with Medaid, another EU-funded project, a medium-density single nucleotide uh, polymorphism array, both for the European sea bass and the gilded sea bream. This tool has already been applied in both projects, and it is expected to be used in case studies for parentage assignments and sparse genomic selection the cross-validation of fine phenotyping in fish families, as well as the estimation of factors influencing breeding value accuracy in multi-trade genomic selection. Uh, additionally, we designed and conducted experiments for growth and mortality targeting diseases that have not previously been studied, and more specifically for the vibriosis, the monogenia and the plectanum equens, and the copypod Lernanthropus progeri in Sibas, and the VNN in Seabring. Results are encouraging, and evaluation and validation are expected in the near future. Through this project, we confirm that individual feed efficiency for Seabring measured in aquariums under restricted feeding is a heritable trait, which could be used to improve uh, feed efficiency uh, in fish farming by selective breeding. Uh, furthermore, in Seabring body shape, uh, Traje trajectories are proposed to be used by the industry to monitor and control fish phenotype in selective breeding programs. Last, the genetic architecture of morphological abnormality traits in gilded Sibrim were studied, contributing with new criteria into the European Certificate for Juvenile Quality, uh, based on a methodology integrative, integrating an effective quantitative and molecular strategy. Thank you.